All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at two cards. And no, it is not a ritual monster and it's a ritual spell card. No, we're actually looking at two different cards. But they're pretty much the exact same. So I'll be like, no, it's stupid. We're not going to split it up into two. Today we're looking at gold gadget and silver gadget. Yes. So, uh... Despite being two different gadgets, being two different monsters, having different stats, you know, attack and defense, they have the exact same effect, pretty much. And, uh, we're gonna be reviewing both of them, and, uh, yeah. So, new gadgets is cool. I wonder if there's actually gonna be a bronze gadget. Let me guess what bronze gadget does. So, um, you guys, if you guys didn't know, Yugi did dabble in a little bit of the gadget tree, and, uh, pretty much anything that, uh, Yugi or Kaiba has ever touched or shot out of their ass is getting new support. Every single little bitty thing, whether it be gadgets or or the or the beta alpha gamma or the the dragon cannon that's ABC or Celtic guardian or whatever or silent swords man like what the fuck like everything that they fucking touch is getting something new and it's like. I don't know if this is movie hype or what, but, you know, I'm t I'm, I am I want to kind of get off of the nostalgia train. I'm getting kind of sick, but it just keeps coming. It just keeps coming anyway. Let's go ahead and look at gold and silver gadget and see how they fit in with the other uh, gadgets with, uh, of course, with red, yellow, and green. So, uh, gold gadget is light machine effect, level 4, 1700 attack, 18, um, 800 defense, okay. Well, Silver Gadget is a light machine effect monster level 4 with 1500 attack and 1000 defense, so stats are a little bit different, you know. Just take 200 defense, I mean, well, 200 attack and defense between the two of them and put in attack and defense respectively, so that is uh, not terrible. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at pretty much both their effects, because they're pretty much exactly the same. So, uh, when this card is normal summon or special summon, you can special summon one level 4 machine type monster from your hand. They both say that. So, um, you already know that gadgets were great rank 4 shenanigans, you know, and this pretty much screams it. It definitely seems like uh, Yugi and Kaiba are split. Uh, Kaiba is more of the synchro side of things, so uh, Yugi's more of the XC side of things. You can just tell uh, with the cards that they're being played with Blue Eyes and Dark Magician respectively. But, so, for guys to get a pretty much an XC enabler, that's like, hey, it's saying, hey, hey, when this card is normal special summon, go ahead and summon a level 4 machine type monster from your hand. So, summon this, summon one of these two, summon one of your gadgets, get a search, go into Gear Grind X, detach, get a search, like, you already know the power of gadgets and their uh, rank 4 search ability, you know. So, um, they both say that. Both uh, Golden Silver both say that when they are normal or special summon, special summon a level 4 machine type monster from your hand. Alright, the next effect. Uh, if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can special summon one level 4 gadget monster from your deck except that same card. So, Gold can't summon Gold, Silver can't summon Silver, but they can summon each other. So, you know, if you want to, if you have Gold and Gold gets killed, you can summon Silver, and then Silver can go ahead and summon you something, but, uh... That's pretty powerful. So just go ahead and if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can go ahead and summon uh, one of your gadget monsters, red, green, or yellow, and get a search as well. So uh, when it summoned it, tutors to summoning a gadget. When it's destroyed, it, sum it summons a gadget from your deck. So it's just pretty much saying, like, go into rank 4, rank 4 plays, get search, have uh, rank 4 plays. That's just what they do. You can only use each effect of the respective gadget once per turn, only once that turn. So, you can't be cute and go, alright, well, they can't summon each other, so let me just go gold to silver to gold to silver to gold. No, you can only use the effect, uh, uh, use each effect of the respective gadget once per turn, only once that turn. So, uh, if you already did the floating effect off of gold gadget, you don't get the special summon effect, then uh vice versa and the sex same thing for silver gadget but these cards are literally the same it's like amazing that they made these cards especially in 2016 that are just so similar like they're pretty much the exact same and i'm just kind of wondering like oh there's a gold there's a silver let me guess is there going to be a bronze that literally does the exact fucking same like like let me guess let me guess Bronze Gadget, right? He is going to be a light machine effect time monster level 4 he's going to have 1300 attack and 1200 defense, right? Go ahead and just <laughs> take the 200 off and just move it over. So, uh, <coughs> so he'll have 
uh, 200 more defense than silver, but then 200 less defense than silver. So 1300 attack, 1200 defense. Same exact effect, except it respectively, uh, you can't you can't summon bronze gadget, and you can only use the effect of the bronze gadget once per turn, once that turn. Like, and then you'll, you'll have all three of those gadgets, you know, uh, bronze, silver, and gold to go with red, green, and yellow, and then they just have their rank four shenanigans, you know. Is that the best? Not really. It's kind of. I mean, this game is really outpaced that. Like, not only do you need your XC monster toolbox to be good, but you need the monsters going to them to be good. If really all you're doing is just pumping out gadgets, I mean, while you may have resources, your plays are going to be lacking. Because, I mean, what are you doing? Rank 4 plays? I mean, Yu Gi Oh!'s grown beyond just, you know, winning off of rank 4 plays. So, uh, I don't think that that would be too successful, but, I mean, that's not terrible either. I mean,. You generally neg on your your rank four plays. You know, you take two monsters and go into one. But as long as you have these gadgets tutoring your plays, along with like you know, you know, tin, uh, goldfish as well, especially summoning them gadgets to go ahead and get a search, then you will always at least even out with your plays. So it's not terrible, and you're not forced to go into a machine type monster either. So you can go into your one on one, your cast out, your dark rebellion, your whatever rank four monster that you need. And while the rank four turbo box is very powerful, you know you're gonna need some plays backing it up. It's, it can't just be a, a rank four smorgasbord and you hope that you win. You know you're gonna need something backing that up. But still, not terrible. So uh, I guess we'll find out if uh, Yugi actually plays gadgets in the movie, gold gadget, silver gadget, and I like to say we're waiting on bronze gadget. I, I'm 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 just guessing. I'm just guessing. Am I psychic? Am I psychic? It's not even psychic, it's not has nothing even psychic, it's just, you know, critical thinking really. So tell me what you guys think about gold and silver gadget in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course we will be back on Wednesday to look at another card. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and uh yeah, see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.